Well, hold on a second. You know that we have less people dying because of quote unquote climate related disasters thanks to fossil fuels. We have less people dying because of extreme exposure to cold hurricanes because of the advancements we have thanks to fossil fuels. Uh, you know, this idea, it's very interesting in modern society. Today, we're going to check it out. Chad is scaring versus environmentalists not. Guys, let's get straight into this. Um, given that you believe human beings are exacerbating climate change, shouldn't you agree that we ought to transition away from fossil fuels? Well, no, I, I don't agree with that. I, my contention is I don't know. I do believe global temperatures are rising. I'm not willing to say definitively it's anthropogenic, meaning it's human activity. But if you connect the two, I asked the question I asked earlier, how much? Are there any other contributing factors to rising global temperatures other than human activity? If so, yeah. what are they? And to what degree do they factor into rising global temperatures? But sure, that you want to follow up on that? Yeah, I was wondering how can you not know whether climate change is happening when a recent survey of 88,125 climate-related studies done by Institute of Physics cites that more than 99.9% .9 of peer-reviewed scientific papers agree that climate change is caused by human activities. How much? So how much of the global temperature rising is because of human activity? No. What percentage? Well, is it 70%, 80%, 85%, 5%, 1%? Because that's not what the study said. They're saying that human activity is contributing to part of the increase. What part? They don't know. That's debated. Can I answer that? Sure. Uh, so like, there's actually a statistics uh, or, or a study done that suggests that climate-related uh, disasters are eight times more likely than in 1980s. Well, hold on a second. You know that we have less people dying because of quote unquote climate related disasters thanks to fossil fuels. We have less people dying because of extreme exposure to cold hurricanes because of the advancements we have thanks to fossil fuels. Uh, you know, yeah. this idea, it's very interesting in modern society. We take for granted the idea of having widespread shelter, heating or air conditioning in extreme climates thanks to hydrocarbons, we take for granted that used to be a leading cause of death of human beings up until 1850s. Now, if I, if I posit your contention, climate-related catastrophes, even though, according to peer-reviewed studies, that climate-related catastrophe death is actually at all-time all low, the question is then for you, which is, what would you get rid of when and what would the cost of that be? That is the question, so please answer that. Well, I was just wondering, like, you know, you didn't really answer my question, but I was... Um, Obviously, I can't give you like exact percentage of numbers, but I do think that we ought to transition away from fossil fuel, right? Like I'm not against growth or development. I obviously agree with you that, yep. you know, the industrial revolution, like economic growth is good. It's good. lifting people out of poverty. That's obviously good, right? But in developed countries today where we have the ability to not damage our economy, but also benefit the environment, shouldn't we do that? Okay, so give me an example. What specifically would you ban? You're king for a day. What would you ban? Would you ban liquid natural gas? Would you buy nu ban nuclear? Would you ban fracking? Would you ban what kind of hydrocarbons would you ban? Give me the examples. And I don't your think you can ban you any. Well, see, like... I, I wouldn't like straight up ban something, right? So I'm not, I'm not at, okay. like, advo like advocating for like you know just like fossil fuels. We end fossil fuels like okay, immediately. That's, a, that's right? a mature answer. Good for you. I mean that. That's the because the, the the radicals don't always say that. Please continue. Right. So I'll, I'll, I'll argue for like market based solutions, a transitional way. Like, like for example, I think. Um, in 2020, like uh, the government funded $5.9 trillion to fossil fuel companies. I would say that instead of investing these, this money, $5.9 trillion to fossil yeah, fuel that, companies. That, that doesn't sound right. But you might, might be in tax credits, maybe, or tax breaks. That, that doesn't sound Subsidies. right. Subsidies. Subsidies. No, that's $5.9 billion, probably not trillion. There's no, no it's, way. It's, it's trillion. Yeah, well, it's, the, federal, it's, the federal budget was $3.8 trillion. So there's no way we spent well, more than our federal budget. No, no, no. But I'm going to help yeah. you out. It's probably billion. Did you say no, did you say trillion or billion? It's it's trillions done by the International Mon Monetary Fund, and probably it's not. It's it's not possible. I mean, I'm sorry no, to. I'm not, I'm not saying just in the United States. Oh, okay, worldwide. All right, then that might be conceivable. Sure. Right. So I mean, yeah. But anyway, so I would say instead of subsidizing these fossil fuels companies, I would say that take these subsidies to renewables and other forms of cleaner energy that would be beneficial to the environment right, while it. still pertaining to Fair enough. La last question. So where do we get the cobalt to make the batteries and what do we do with them? No, I'm asking, wh 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 where, where do you recommend we get the cobalt to make the batteries? Wait, can, can I answer? So like your argument is about this mining argument, right? Like, no, I'm not making, I'm asking a question, dude. Like where, where do we get it from? Yeah. So, so then how about this? Where should, where, how 
how and where should we dispose of the incredibly acidic, sometimes radioactive batteries that electric vehicles use? Where, where should we dispose of them? But, but that argument, you see, it's a, it's a straw man because you're Answer just- Answer the question. No, I am answering question. I, I am answering, I am literally answering your questions, right? So you're arguing about this renewable energies <laughs> and their batteries and how they cause environmental I've, harm, right? I've asked a question. I'm not making an argument. What should we do with the batteries no, once we use I'm them? I'm saying that's, that's, a, that's a straw man because you can't- a Straw use. man question. That's a first. I've never been accused of a straw man no, question. Because you, you, you have an underlying premise in your question that renewable energies exist in a vacuum, but you can't do that. That's not comparative analysis. You have to compare renewables for fossil fuels with fracking and such. Right. All right, pal, how about this? How about this? You can't answer the question because deep down you know that cobalt powered batteries are worse for the environment than yeah. liquid and natural gas and nuclear power. So you come up on here to try to virtue signal. I love the environment, but as soon as you ask me about the incredibly environmentally inefficient, destructive, animal killing, acidic producing batteries, you're a strong man. You're out of time. Thanks for being here tonight. Next question. Okay, what do you guys think about this? For me, I honestly believe that we need gas. Like, I don't think we can do without it. And this is a resource that we found and like we built our life around it. So we're going to transition out of it, but it's not going to happen in like, let's say, the next hundred years. Like, it's going to take time, maybe like next 500 or something, when all of us are dead. I think that's the only way possible because right now there are people who are bringing up ideas, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Like electric vehicles, a lot of people don't want to go into it. Like a lot of people don't want to use an electric vehicle because they feel like, no, I'm not in control of this car. Like people want to still be in control of the cars. And let's say we are still old school because a lot of children who have seen their father like ride some certain cars won't still ride that kind of car. They don't want to just be in a car that's riding itself. People say there's no fun in it. But guys, don't think about this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and still tell me what you think about this. Like, do you prefer everything to just be electric? I've seen some research done, and some cars and bikes are now faster than like what they used to be. But like, what do you think? What will you go for? Like, an electric or a natural gas car? Like, for me, I I really don't know. To be honest, I I don't know which one I'll go for, but. I honestly agree with what Charlie Craig said, but I don't believe natural gas is the main.